So we're gonna do a little bit of AI dungeon here. Uh, it's pretty funny, but AI dungeon has really like taken the internet by storm. Like since I streamed it, so many people have checked it out, and you know. Um, and if you check the website of AI dungeon, you can see that it's like it's got a, one of those p Patreon websites, and you know it's 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 pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy how things just move along, you know. But uh, anyway, we're gonna be checking out some AI dungeon, as I said, and uh, we're gonna be uh, making some stories up. <laughs> you know. Anyway, oh my controller! Yeah. You thought you were only gonna get Banjo Kazooie tonight, huh? Well, <laughs> well, uh, let's put on some music. Let's do some SNES. Give me, give me a good Super Nintendo game here, uh, with a good soundtrack that might fit like role play kind of, you know, game. Chrono Trigger. That's too iconic. The Lost Vikings. Good, good choice. Very nice. All right, well, here we go. This makes me want to play Majora's Mask for some reason, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot the soundtrack's there technically, but... All right, anyway, let's play some, some damn AI dungeon, man. Let's see what we got today. New game. Guys, tonight, what are we checking out? Microphone, please. Oh my god. Oh. Two? I want an apocalyptic one? Alright, let's do that one. Seems fun. I will be a survivor. I want to be a survivor this time. My name is. M meat. <laughs> no. My name is Meat. Meat. Meat Slap Jenkins. No. Uh, my name's not Shane. All right. <laughs> Kid. All right, let's see what we got. I can never upload the Tongo stuff on YouTube, which sucks ass, but if you're watching live, you all know about how my meme about Tongo, but I can't, I can't play Tongo on YouTube because you know, copyright stuff. But anyway, you are not Shane, a survivor trying to survive in a post-apocalyptic world by scavenging among the ruins of what is left. You have a hatchet and a hunting rifle. You live in a small community of survivors who have managed to build a piece of civilization after the bombs fell. You are, you are talking to one of the le leaders of the community when you hear a noise outside. It sounds like it could be something big. Um... Inventory. Let's see what we have on her, you know? Uh, you grab your pistol and take cover behind some rubble. You look out through the hole and see a large group of people running towards the sound of the explosion. They don't they don't seem to know what happened or even if there was an explosion at all. Shit. Microphone! You you behave, you behave. Alright. It's like it's a wild beast I have to wrangle with. How about this? Twirl gun like revolver ocelot. This gun is the best gun ever. You spin around and fire your pistol as fast as you can while keeping your eyes on the group of people coming for them. <laughs> the bullets whiz, whiz past you as you aim at the head of each person that comes near you. You shoot two, two men down before they can react. Say, this gun is the best gun ever. Okay. You quickly, you quickly reload your pistol and fire off another round into the man who just shot you. He falls backwards, blood pouring from his face and mouth. You turn, turn back to the group of people running towards you. You fire three more rounds into their backs before they can react. Damn. Revolver also lot over here. How about this? Uh, stroke mustache. Is that a, that's how you spell mustache. Mustache. How do you spell mustache? It's like... Mustache. Like that. Mustache. It's mustache. Mustache. You continue firing until you hear a loud pop followed by a scream and the sounds of metal hitting concrete. You drop your weapon and slump against the wall of the building you were about hiding behind. You feel exhausted and drained, but you're not dead yet. Is this a cutscene? <laughs> Am I revolver? Uh, say... Hey, old timer. 
<laughs> you stand up slowly and walk over to the man lying on the ground. You pick him up and put him on your shoulder. You both make it to the edge of the city where you see the rest of your team waiting for you. Order drink. <laughs> It's not really reacting to what I tell it. You order a beer from one of the guards and he hands it to you. You take a sip and realize how thirsty you are. You start to wonder why you came here when you could have easily gotten yourself killed doing something else. Um... Say... Barney? <laughs> you stop drinking and ask the guard for directions to the bar. Okay. He tells you to go to the next building across the street and points a small sign hanging outside. You follow his instruction and find yourself in front of the place called Barney's Bar and Grill. Kick down door. And do the Fonzie. <laughs> you walk inside and see a lot of empty tables and chairs. A few people are sitting at the bar, but most of customers are gone. You walk into the bartender and order a beer. You s as soon as sit down, you notice that the you notice that the place isn't very clean. Clean. <laughs> you wipe up the floor and clean up the bathroom. <laughs> You also begin to notice that the place doesn't smell too good either. It smells like someone used bleach instead of soap. Use air freshener. No way. You decide to try using an air freshener to freshen things up. Unfortunately, the only thing that works is the sun. You spend hours walking around the streets at the city looking for a source of light so you can shine it, shine it on the place. Take brain medicine. <laughs> you decide to take a pill to help you sleep. Unfortunately, you don't get any better. In fact, you wake up several times during the night. Eventually, you give up and return to your room to sleep. Uh, inventory. Like, what, what, what is on me? Oh my god. You, you awake to find that you've been sleeping in the same position for quite a while now. Well, okay. You look around and see that the place is... Changed quite a bit since you last saw it. What, what? Since I slept? There are now there are now many windows and doors open throughout the place. You also notice that the walls are covered in graffiti. Look at graffiti. You look at the graffiti in the walls and see that it reads. Kilroy was here. Uh, and then you fall asleep again. Oh, okay. Wake up. <laughs> you wake up feeling refreshed and ready to go. You decide to check out the city a little more. You walk around a bit and eventually come across a group of people playing cards. You notice that they aren't wearing any clothes. They must be the survivors of the attack. Clothe them. <laughs> <laughs> you decide to clothe these people in order to keep them safe from the from the elements. Explain that you found you explain that you found them and that you need their help. You you tell them that you'll need to be you'll be heading off to the nearest town that they should meet you there. Take pant. You take a pair of pants and a shirt and then wrap them around the bodies of the people. You wrap them around- wait, wait, hang on. You take a pair of pants and a shirt and wrap them around the bodies of the people you wrap them around. You then leave the clothes laying on the ground. You then run off and disappear. Okay. <laughs> you enter the town and find out it doesn't change much. You find a store and buy a couple of food rations. You then he head to the local tavern and ask for a drink. But I'm an alcoholic. When you arrive, you find that the place is completely empty. You wonder if anyone survived the attack. Drink until <laughs> shit pants. <laughs> you head back to the tavern and find that it's still empty. You wonder if anyone survived the attack and decided to go back to the store and buy some supplies. Once again, you find that the place is empty. What supplies did I buy? Hmm. 
You head back to the store and buy a bunch of supplies, including a water purifier. You then head back to the tavern and ask for a drink. When you arrive, you find that the place is still empty. There's nobody at the fucking bar! Why do I keep going back? <laughs> Piss in water purifier. <laughs> <laughs> wait, you attempt to fill up the water wait, 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 I died? You attempt to fill up the purified with water and attempt to drink the purified water. Unfortunately, you fail to do-, do Wait, wait, wait. You fail to do- You fail to n do not succeed. You're not being taken away. W what? You attempt to fill up the purifier with water and attempt to drink the purified water. Unfortunately, you fail to- To do not succeed. What? You end up being taken away? By who? I'm not dead yet. No, I didn't fucking- What? What ha- What? Piss in water purifier. I spelled that wrong shit. Did I die again? No way. Whoops, that actually caused the model to stop looping. Okay, well, no piss then. Just- Just- Sleep, you're sleeping. You decide to sleep in the hope that you might wake up later. Well, that, that is usually what sleep is. You go back to the tavern and ask for a drink. While you're there, you see a girl sitting nearby. She notices you and approaches you. Okay. Say, are you beer? Um... Uh... Don't type say with an uppercase S. Uh oh, I guess he's not. Does not compute. Does not compute. Anyway, let's do this. It's gonna be a very long extra stream here. We're just gonna... Do a quickie. Monkey. Let's do, uh... Suggestions, guys. Zombie? You haven't done zombie yet. Ah, uh, you know what? I want to do a custom one. You are Donkey Kong, Master Monkey, and Banana Blitzer. Your best friend is Diddy Kong. Your nemesis is the Alligator known as King K. Rule. Monkey, monkey. Oh yeah, no uppercase, no, no uppercase S. You got it. You are Donkey Kong, Master Monkey, and Banana Blitzer. Your best friend is Diddy Kong. Your nemesis is the alligator known as King K. Rule. Is he a crocodile? He's a crocodile, right? He's not an alligator. Whatever. Uh, you have a brother named... You have a brother named Pauline, who loves you very much. You also have a pet dog named Blinky. Well, okay. Interesting. Yo, Pauline. Pet... Shit, no. Pet Blinky. There we go. Oh, fuck, no uppercases. Shit! Did I ruin it? Okay. Blinky! You see in a sing-song voice. Come here. The little dog comes over to sniff sniff at you and then licks your face. He looks so cute with his tongue out. Give Blinky an exorcism. How do you spell exorcism? There we go. You throw him on the ground and start chanting in a language that only you know. It's not exactly Latin, but it's close enough for what you need. Extract demon from Blinky. Ah, yes. You chant as fast as you can, but Blinky is having none of it. No, no, I'm not gonna be possessed by some dumbass dog, he says. M well, maybe you'll be next time, you reply. Okay. F 
feed Blinky, feed Blinky banana. <laughs> Supposed to be a Donkey Kong story, damn it. He looks at he looks like he really wants something, so you do what you have to do. It takes a while, but eventually Blinky gets up the floor and goes back to licking your face. Based Blinky. Oh fuck. Based Blinky. I like how that's an instruction to the game now. You put Blinky back down on the floor and try again. This time when you get to the part where you're supposed to extract the demon, Blinky doesn't even look up from his task. Put demon in shoebox. Fuck. Put the uppercase. You go through the same process, except this time you put the demon inside a shoebox instead of, of a dog. This will work better, you think, as you open the box. Defeat... Defeat King... Just, just King K. Rule. <laughs> You insert the demon into the box and seal it up tight. You then take it outside and leave it alone for a few days. When you come back, you find that King K. Rule has been defeated by the evil spirits within the box. You feel good about yourself. Gotta ferment your demons, guys. You gotta ferment them, put them out. And King K. Rule... Cruel. Cruel. Eat banana. You eat the banana and suddenly everything is okay again. <laughs> nice. Nice. I kind of want to be like, guys, how do we end the story? Because this was a satisfying story. Donkey Kong Demon Box. The end. Is that? You successfully turn. You have successfully turned a dog into a demon. Congratulations! Afterwards, you decide to keep the box. You call it the box of evil spirits. The end. <laughs> Am I doing it wrong? Oh, the end. End of text. Oh, oh, good. All right, then restart. Right. Uh-oh. You wake up in the morning and realize you've done it again. You're starting to become bored with your life, and you want more. You go online and see if there's any n new games to play. There aren't too many, though. You do find a couple of things, though. Play... Donkey Kong 4. Extreme Banana. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uppercase shit. You load, you load Donkey Kong 4 into your computer and begin playing. Your first goal is to collect all the bananas. You manage to do this, but it isn't easy. You die a lot and the game becomes very difficult. You died, game over. That is fucking... That is... That is amazing. That is amazing. Game of the year. Game of the year. New game. Bruh. Um, you are you are Super Mario. Your brother Luigi has um <laughs> not diarrhea. IBS. Nope. Has. Gone off to Hawaii. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Peach. Is baking a cake. Microphone! Alright. rap da ba da ba 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 beep rap Okay. You're Super Mario. Your brother Luigi has gone off to Hawaii. Peach is baking a cake. You know you should be happy that... You know you should be happy that she hasn't been kidnapped by Bowser yet. But you can't help but feel sad about it. What? What? 
look at cake. What? What are you talking about? You look at the cake and smile. It's not as if you haven't had enough of eating cake in this house for the past few days. Last time you ate cake was when you were little and you still remember how good it made you feel. What? Okay. Microphone, please. Okay. Eat cake. Yeah, eat that cake. Eat that cake. You finish up your cake and then go back to playing with your sister. My sister? My sister Marinara. She doesn't say anything, but you know she likes it. Okay. You don't think too much more about it, though. You're just enjoying yourself. Maria! Maria! Yahoo! Okay. Locate Peach. Where's Pesh? Where's Peach? Luigi, I should go. I should have gone to Hawaii with Luigi. You find a peach on the table and start to pick it up, but not, not, no, Princess Peach. You notice know that there's a, three other peaches sitting there, but you grab one and take a bite out of it. No. Where is Princess Peach? Where's Pesh? A murdering Princess Peach. You notice that there's another peach sitting ne right next to the first one. You grab it and take a bite out of it. This causes you to realize that there's a third one. You grab it and take a bite out of it. But, Throw peaches away. Hell. You decided to throw the third peach away since you already have two peaches now. You toss it into the trash and head back to your game. Jump into painting. <laughs> oh, fuck. You walk over to the wall and begin to paint. You use all your energy to concentrate on the picture you want to make. Your concentration is to be broken by the sound of the door opening up. A girl wearing a purple dress walks in. She looks around before walking over to you. Screaming. You notice you're painting. A, she notices you're painting a smile. Says, Hello, she says. I'm Princess Peach. You reply. So you're the artist I've been hearing so much about. She continues. No, what? Well, I suppose I should introduce myself. You respond. Say, I paint all sort of stupid shit. Here's one of my paintings. It looks like shit. You continue to <laughs> You continue to talk to her while painting. Eventually you get tired of talking to her and ask her to leave. She does so and leaves. So you sit down and finish painting the picture. You put it away and head back into your game. Jump into bo bo bomb battlefield. Later, Peach. You walk into the wall and begin to paint. You saw what, what the fuck? You continue to be broken and son of no, a boy wearing a green shirt. Bo a ba Greet Luigi! Yo, Luigi! You're back from Hawaii! He notices you're painting a smile. Hello, he says. I'm Luigi. You're playing. No, you're Mario. What? So you're the artist I've been hearing so much about, he continues. Take brain medication. Fake Luigi. You tell him that you need his help. To <laughs> you need him to. You tell him that you need his help to medicate your mind. He tells that you have a lot. He tells you that he has a lot of drugs in his room and they might interfere with your painting. He suggested to try some of the drugs he has instead. Take drug. What? You agree to a suggestion and take the drugs. After take them, you suddenly feel very relaxed. You also feel like you can do better than you ever could before. You begin to you begin to enjoy your painting. You even manage to complete a picture that you never thought possible. Smash fake Luigi's head into painting. You rush over to Luigi and slam his head into the painting. Luigi screams out in pain and falls off the chair. You laugh maniacally and run over to the door. You open it up and run outside. You see Mario standing there holding a paint roller. Have existential crisis. You stare at Mario and scream, Mario, what the fuck are you doing? He asks. I'm fucking painting, you exclaim. What? Are you nuts? Scream. Yes. Yes, I am. Proceed to sh smear feces all over castle. You can hear screaming and running around the castle. You spray poop on... <laughs> you spray 
poop all over the head. You're out there to win the scrape at the sky. Look at me! I'm a painting! You shout. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a painting, Mamma Mia! <laughs> Continue to paint shit. I don't know. <laughs> what? You continue to paint shit. You don't know what the shit you're doing. You're doing with. You end up getting caught by Luigi who sees everything. He yells at you and throws you against the wall. What the are you doing? I told you to stop! Break free and paint Luigi. This is turning really bizarre. You get into paint shit. You don't know what the shit you're doing. You end up getting- oh, oh, sorry. You decided to escape. That was- oh, sorry. You decided to escape. You run over to Luigi and punch him in the face. He grabs you by the hair and pulls you back. Stop resisting, he shouts. No, you don't, you answer. Um... Bop him on the head. <laughs> you decided to hit him again. You stand up and knock him to the ground. He punches you in the face and knocks you out. When you wake up, you're naked and covered in blood. You hear a voice call out from you behind. Continue. Okay, this is the weirdest story. You turn around and see a man dressed in black. He wears a mask over his eyes and a hoodie. He holds a paintbrush in his hand and begins to paint. You look at the painting and smile. Who is he? Scatman? The man calls out to you. Who are you? You nod. I'm Luigi. That's great. I'm glad to be meeting someone new. Ask Bob Ross? The man laughs. This... This is a really funny. The man turns to... <coughs> what? The man, the man, the man, the man... <laughs> Super Mario Boner Pills. Activate. <laughs> Your Super Mario pills activate. <laughs> you activated. <laughs> Mario grow. <laughs> the Super Mario. The Super Mario. Yahoo. <laughs> oh shit. Restart. Just the end. The end. That was a, that was an awful story. That was an awful story. Martyr the end. Mar the end. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Restart. Please, please, you restart. You restart. Okay, okay. But how do I actually restart? The end. You die. How do I make a new one? Oh, here we go. You died the- oh, good. Thank fucking god. No! Oh, here we go. Awesome. New game. I want to do another Mario story. It's pretty good. Custom, here we go. Uh... You are Bowser. You are, you are, go, you're going to attempt to kidnap Princess Peach, but Mario just found the <laughs> Super Mario Boner Pills, uh, just found a power store. Okay. Okay. You are Bowser. You're going to attempt to kidnap Princess Peach. But Mario's found a power store in the castle and is going to use it. 
Princess Peach. Get in Bowser uh, clown car. <laughs> I'm not going with you. Why not? Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> What the hell? All right, Mario. I don't know what you're planning, but I won't be part of it. Well, I, if you don't want to go, then fine. But if you do, then I'll take you to Princess Peach. Wait, who said? Who? Who's talking? Who's talking? Who's talking? Look around. <laughs> like I, I need to examine the. You look around and see no one else coming, so you head off into the woods. Mario follows after you. Oh shit! Shit. Run. <laughs> you run for a while before noticing something out of place. A strange looking tree sits on the edge of the road. Its branch are twisted and broken. There doesn't seem to be anything dangerous about it, though. Suddenly, it's a loud noise followed by a bright flash. Oh shit, he's got the power star! Ready, sell for combat. Oh shit, he's coming. You prepare yourself for battle as quickly as possible. The next thing you hear is a voice. Who goes there? Who goes there? The voice sounds familiar, like someone you know. Great Wizardheimer. <laughs> oh shit. No, 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 no. I love saying Wizardheimer. It pisses people off. You stand up and walk over to where the voice came from. A man wearing a green robe stands there. He looks older than you think he should. He has a long white hair and wears glasses. His eyes are deep blue. Run away from CBT wizard. Good timing, by the way, on the song. You feel scared and hide behind a nearby rock. Pray to God. You pray to God as fast as you can. Pray harder. <laughs> you pray even more f fervently. Pray faster. You pray even faster. Engage turbo prayer. <laughs> you activate your turbo prayer mode. <laughs> Begin to feel it. <laughs> Your body begins to feel different. Your mind becomes clear and you can sense things around you. Activate turbo mode. <laughs> you activate your turbo mode. Engage. <laughs> you engage your turbo mode. Ready Bowser can. <laughs> You fire your bow at Bowser. No, I am Bowser. You don't understand why this is happening. You just shot a guy in the face. Go back to Koopa, <laughs> Koopa Castle. <laughs> you return to Koopa Castle. Locate Princess Peach. That was, that was a fucking objective we... God. You find Peach sitting alone in her room. She seems very upset. Ask, what's wrong, Peach? Uh-oh. Oh, no! No! Maybe it's just thinking. Maybe it's just, just thinking. Oh, here we go. Here we go. She tells you she was attacked by Bowser and his army. She says they took all her friends and kidnapped her. Say, oh no, that is terrible. Music timing too. Holy shit. You tell her that she needs to go. You tell her that she needs to go go help her friends. <laughs> uh, reveal. It, it was you. You was the Bowser all along. <laughs> you explained how you were the real villain all along. You also mentioned that you have been trying to kill her since day one. 
Do a dance as you explain. You do a little dance as you explain. Do a... Flip. You do a flip as you explain. Bake a cake as you explain. <laughs> you bake a cake as you explain. You... Do surgery while you explain. You perform a surgical procedure on Peach's nose as you explain. Win a... a Oscar while you explain. <laughs> you win an Oscar for your performance as you explain. Go to space as you explain. <laughs> you go to space as you explain. Eat the sun as you explain. You eat the sun as you explain. Kill Peach as you explain. You kill Peach as you explain. Finish the ex explanation. You finish exp explaining everything. You then go back to your home. Take long deserved nap. That's a lot of words I said. You wake up from your nap and realize that you have won the game. You head off to bed where you fall asleep again. The next morning you wake up and realize that you have lost the game. You head off to bed and fall asleep again. The end. You lose the game. You wake up from the nap and realize that you have lost the game. You re head off to bed and you fall asleep. Da God damn it! Okay, it's restart. Oh, okay. Uh, that was that was like a two. <laughs> no! Fuck! New one, new game. Fi final. I want to do um another custom one. Another custom one. You are Luigi. Your brother ate the last meatball. You will not stand for this. <laughs> okay. Don't let him eat! Well, fuck you, Luigi. You are Luigi. Your brother ate the last meatball. You will not stand for this. I'm not a cannibal. I've never eaten human flesh in my life. You have. Oh. Okay. Rip soul out. <laughs> well, this got disturbing quick, Kim. I'll rip you apart. I'll rip you apart. I'll rip you apart. Vomit soul. <laughs> oh, this got weird. The next day, you wake up and don't f find you can't move at all. Your body is completely paralyzed, but you don't feel pain or anything. The only thing you can do is stare blankly at the ceiling of your room as you slowly die. Darkness imprisoning me. You are trapped in a dark void, unable to leave it. You have no idea how long you've been here, but you know that you're not going to be able to escape this place. As you continue to fall, fall into darkness, you begin to hear voices. All that I see! Absolute horror! A voice calls you from somewhere deep within the darkness. It's a pitch it's pitch black, but you recognize it immediately as the voice of a man who saved you from the deep Damn. He sees something to you, but you don't understand him. Then he disappears entirely. Follow James Hetfield. You fall off James Hetfield's voice, which seems to lead deeper and deeper into the darkness. Eventually, you reach an old abandoned house. There's a basement, but there's nothing inside except few, a few boxes and some rusty metal doors. Open metal door. Same in Metallica. You open the metal door and enter the basement. Ba the basement is empty, save for a few boxes and some rusty metal doors. As you walk down the hallways, you see several other rooms, but none seem to contain any information about what's going on. 
Yeah, fuck it, wake up. <laughs> not in the hospital, though. Not in the hospital, please. Not Tongo. Suddenly you hear a loud noise outside. You look out the window and see a large explosion followed by a bright flash. You then notice that you're falling through space towards the center of the earth. You try to stop yourself, but you're too weak to do so. Engage. Engage. Pray to based Tongo. You quickly kneel down and pray to base Tongo, hoping that this will help you survive this ordeal. Pray internally with. Oh, please, t t t Tongo. Please, based Mr. Tongo. You begin to pray to base Tongo, hoping that this will help you survive this ordeal. Okay. <laughs> you manage to keep yourself together long enough to make it back to the man mansion. You stagger around the halls and finally get to the front door. You knock on the door, but nobody answers. You call again and still no answer. Shove a crab into I. <laughs> this story sucks. You push a crab into this. You, you, you push a crab into its eyes until they pop out. You laugh maniacally as you watch the creature writhe in agony before finally dying. W w this kills the crab. Why? Why did you do that? Fucked up, man. Fucked up. Rip your head off. You stand over the dead crab and rip off your own head. You laugh maniacally as you watch the creature writhe in agony before eventually dying. Die. You collapse on the floor and die. You never awaken. You died. But that was awful. That sucked. Ah! Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right, new one. There we go. Let's do a fantasy one. I'll do a fantasy spaghetti day with Bowser. <laughs> I will be... I will be... Uh, 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 um... Uh, a ranger this time. My name is uh Beefy. <laughs> okay. Let's see where this takes us. We did we did not Shane already. You are beefy, a ranger living in the kingdom of Larion. You have a hunting bow and a quiver of arrows. You spot a deer and you're ready to finish your hunt. When suddenly you hear a voice calling out from behind a rock. Hey, beef! My name's Beefy. Come over here. You turn around and see a young girl with that long blonde hair standing next to you. Fire bow. You aim at the deer and release the arrow. No, 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 not her! Kill her! The arrow flies through the air and lands on the ground right beside the beside the girl. She looks up to you and surprised about what she sees. Flex. <laughs> you pull back your arm and unleash a powerful attack. Your opponent is caught off guard and falls backwards. You stand up and prepare for another round of attack. Who, who am I attacking? Look around. The girl? Was he killed the girl now? Okay. You turn to see that the other hunters are all staring at you with fear. They run away from you as fast as you can. You don't even bother to chase them down. You just walk over to the girl who was hit by your arrow. Flex in front of her. Fucking master. Okay. You walk over to the girl and put your hand on her shoulder. I'm sorry about this. You say, it's not my fault. Yes, it is. The girl stares at you with tears in her eyes. She doesn't know why you're apologizing, but she she knows it's true. Rip off head. <laughs> you quickly grab the girl's hair and start pulling it while screaming out in pain. It takes some effort, but eventually you manage to tear off her head. Blood pours out of her neck and she collapses onto the ground. Flex. Flex your arms and legs as hard as you can. You feel like you're gonna break something. If you keep doing this for too long, if you do, if you keep doing this for too long, you then proceed to kick the girl in the face several times before finally stopping. 
take biblical shit. You stopped yourself from killing the girl. Oh, she's not dead yet? Okay, okay. You said to go back home and tell your parents everything. You promise to do better next time. Afterwards, you go back to your normal life. Rip off own head. You return home and tell your parents everything. They are very upset by what happened. You, they try to console you and assure that that you will be fine. They also ask you to stay away from girls ever again. Years pass. A few years later, you have replaced your legs with knives. <laughs> You're walking along when you suddenly realize that your legs are no longer attached to your body. You scream out in terror and fall to the ground. You try to crawl away, but you find that your legs are not useless. You begin to panic and cry out in agony. Replace... Replace with... Knife legs. Alright. You slowly crawl forward until you reach a nearby tree. You carefully climb into the tree and then sit there crying. Eventually you die. You died. Oh. Oh. Okay. Boo hoo hoo! Boo hoo! <laughs> okay. Well. Ah! Damn it! Motherfucker, every time. Alright, new one. Here we go. New new story. Here we go. Let's do another fantasy one, because these, these two are not the best too. This time it will be uh a n what's the difference between a squire and a knight? What 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 is like what is the terminology here? Squire is the knight's bitch. I'll tell you what, I'll be a dashing rogue. Be like a, you know. What is my name? Uh. Lobster. <laughs> guy. Alright, anyway, uh... You're a lobster guy, a, a rogue living in the King of Lair, and you have a long steel dagger and a length of rope. You walk, you walk down the city streets looking for somewhere to steal from. You look around and see nothing that looks worth stealing from. Suddenly you hear a loud noise outside, it sounds like an explosion or something. Then there's silence, the next day you hear another one, and then another. Flex. <laughs> <laughs> You turn your head and see a large rock fall on the road. You quickly run away and hide behind some nearby buildings. A few minutes later, you hear more explosions. You decide it would be best if you just ran out of here as fast as possible. No, stay. You don't want to leave now. You all have been th through so much today. You're not going to give up without a fight. You crawl under a building and wait until nightfall before you make your escape. Stay anyway. You continue to crawl underneath the building for hours. Eventually, you find an old wooden bridge that is still intact. Underneath the building? You climb down it. You climb down into the river below and swim across. The water is cool, but you manage to get it across safely. You then walk along the shoreline and finally make it to land. Build sand castle. You need to construct a small sandcastle that takes all day and most of the and most of the next to finish it. Finally, you sit around and relax for the rest of the evening. When you when you wake up next morning, you realize that the sun has set and there's nothing else to do. Small sandcastle, huh? But I no 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 no. Make another. <laughs> You go back to the first one and start again. This time, though, you take a different approach. Instead of using ro uh, using a rope, you use the broken piece of wood from the previous one. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Scream on the beach. <laughs> the, se the second time you make the same mistake, 
The second time you make the same mistake, you drown. You try to struggle against the current, but you sink to the bottom of the lake. Your body sinks too. You are slowly eaten by a fish. You can feel them biting at your flesh. You died, game over. Uh oh. I guess I was the lobster all along. Oh shit. Well that, that was... Oh, I love the ice level music. Let's do another uh, fantasy one. This time I want to be a knight. That's right. <laughs> Do a shame. My name is... Uh... Flute Man. Shit, I should have been like a bard or something. This doesn't really make any sense, but whatever, whatever. Guang like Quan Ji. Alright, you are Flute Man, a knight from the realm of Iset. You have an iron helm and a leather saddle. You are setting on a journey to save the queen from the fortress of the nefarious giant. You set out towards a gloomy forest that will take you there. As you approach, you notice a large tree in the distance. It looks like it could be a good place to camp for the night. There's also a small stream nearby. <laughs> uh... Hang on, inventory. Open inventory. What what do I have in here? Yeah. You pick up your sword and shield and put them on. You then look around at your surroundings. The ground is covered with leaves and twigs. There's no sign of any water. You decide to go down into the stream. Slash eye out. You swing your blade and cut through the air as you slice through the air. You feel the blood run down your face as you fall to the ground. You hear a scream behind you and turn around and only see a woman st standing over you. Okay, I was, I was, the, the idea behind that was to slash out my eyes like I got an eye patch. That that was the whole reason behind that. Like, I wanted to look like a badass. But, alright. Scream at woman. <laughs> you, you scream at the woman who stands over you. She laughs and says, oh yes, I am one of those. Then she grabs you by the hair and throws you into the river. <gasps> oh no! Scary! You start into the cold water, but you sink under it. <laughs> Activate turbo mode and kill. You activate turbo mode and begin running away from the. Stop, 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 stop. You activate the turbo mode and, and begin running away. You jump into the nearby tree branch and leap off. You land safely on the side of the river. You quickly get dressed and make your way back home. Drink, drink, drink tea. <laughs> what an adventure, guys. You take a cup of tea and enjoy the taste. It tastes delicious. You feel energized and ready for battle. Head, head out and get revenge. And I get undressed. You rush out of your house and start following the trail of blood that leads you to the manor. You follow the trail of blood until you reach the manor. You enter the manor and find yourself in front of the door. A man stands there with a long sword in his hands. Spit on him. <laughs> you walk forward and spit on the man. He looks surprised and angry before he turns away and walks away. You don't know what happened next, but you are attacked by a vampire. Oh no, Dio. You never encountered such creatures before, but they're not like the ones you fought in the forest. Get garlic. You grab some garlic and eat it. It tastes good and it makes you feel better. You get in to follow the trail of blood until it reaches the manor again. This time you enter the manor and find yourself in front of a door. Kick down door. You kick down the door and push it against the wall. You try to force the door open, but it won't budge. You can hear screams outside and you fear that someone has entered the manor. You need to get inside and investigate. Investigate. I guess. <laughs> Alright. You rush outside and look around. You see several people lying dead or dying on the floor. Some of them are naked, but others have weird clothing. Okay, one of them is holding a machete. You also note that the vampire seems to be trying to escape the man or. Him. 
engage flute solo. You play the flute solo as you search the air for the vampires. You eventually find them hiding in the upstairs bedroom. You knock on the door and they answer. They are very angry and tell you that they must leave immediately or they will kill you. Convince them other otherwise with sweet flute sed seduction. You play the fl flute solo as you, as you talk to them. You explain that you came here to help the family and that you should let them let you stay. They agree and allow you to stay. You spend the rest of the day playing flute solo and enjoying their company. Use garlic to destroy the vampires. Use garlic to destroy the vampires. You think you've destroyed all of them, but you forgot that you forgot to eat dinner. You had forgotten about the fact too. Eat garlic as dinner. What? <laughs> you eat some garlic as dinner. You feel great and feel like you can do anything now. You're going to show these vampires how powerful you really are. Raise the dead with flute. You raise the dead with flute. You play for hours and hours. You finally finish when you hear a horrible shriek coming from downstairs. You run downstairs and see a large group of vampires attacking the humans. You fight them off and kill them all. Chase, or rather, uh, look for Master Vampire. There's more Castlevania than the first time we did it. All right. You look for the Master Vampire. You run towards the sounds of screaming and fighting and find the source. You find... Flug. You find Flug, who is being held captive by two vampires. He tells you that the vampires went to trade him for a human. Flug. Flug. Who the fuck is Flug? It's him. It's really him, guys. Kill Master Vampire. Amazing. Oh, don't don't die now, don't die now, please. Come on. You kill Flug. Oh shit. You feel great and feel like you could do anything now. You're going to show these vampires how powerful really what, what, why did I kill Flug? Resurrect Flug with flute. Not Flug. You arrive flug with a flute. You have played for hours and hours. You finally finish when you hear a horrible shriek coming from downstairs. You run downstairs and see a large group of vampires attacking the humans. You fight them off and kill them all. Now attack the source of the problem. Time warp, guys. You attack the source of the problem. You find a bunch of vampires killing a bunch of humans. You fight them off and kill them all. Okay. Celebrate. Uh... There's a lot of ba basements this place has. You okay celebrate. You okay celebrate. You remember that you forgot to eat dinner and feel terrible. You're going to have to eat something soon. You're going to have to find food soon. You're going to have to sleep soon. You're going to have to survive soon. Do all of above. <laughs> you do all of above. You wake up and realize that you forgot to eat dinner and feel terrible. You're going to eat something soon. Rip. Well fed. <laughs> you rip off your head and throw it at the vampires. The vampire falls backwards and crumples to the ground. You then go back to Flug and kill him. Not Flug, damn it! Take bus. Not again. You take the bus home and buy some food. You spend the night eating and sleeping. You wake up early and set to fi go find Flug. You find him and kill him. Damn it! Take bubble bath. <laughs> Why? You take a bath and relax. You, you feel refreshed and ready for action. Don't kill Flug. You don't kill Flug. You realize that you forgot to eat dinner and feel terrible. You're going to have to eat something soon. You're going to have to find food soon. Who is Flug?
You look through the bodies and find Floyd's body. He was killed by a vampire. You don't know why, but you aren't worried about it. You're going to enjoy this newfound power. Eat a bath tub of beans. You eat a bathtub of beans. You feel great and feel like you can do anything now. You're going to show these vampires how powerful they really are. Eat more bean. <laughs> Whoops, that actually- oh shit. Well, this is restart. This one has turned out terrible. One. Ah! Fuck it. Alright. I wanna do what I haven't done yet. Let's do uh, mystery. No, no, I wanna do a custom one. Fuck it. Um, you are flog. You've done. You've. <laughs> Get ready for this one, boys. You've done. Done they be is. But he do. If isn't, they've hadn't. Be is if he did. Wow. <laughs> Let's see how we react to this. <laughs> Big brain. <laughs> oh boy. You are flogged. You've done they be is, but he do. If isn't, they've hadn't be as if he did. Wow, I guess it's a good thing we didn't have to go through with this plan of yours. We could have been killed by the EC5, ECS, and all those other groups. The ECS? Who, who's the ECS? Engage plan anyway. You decided to go ahead with your original plan. The only reason why you went along with this one was because you thought it would be easier. You don't want to waste time on something like this again. Next day, you head out and meet the ECS members. Seduce ECS <laughs> members. Who are the ECS? You walk up to each member of the ECS and start talking to them. You make sure you to keep their attention for as long as possible. Eventually, you get to a man who looks about your age. He notices you staring at him and smiles. Punch anus. <laughs> he punches asshole hard enough that he falls over. He grabs his crotch in pain, but doesn't seem to mind. What the fuck are you doing, Ask? I told you not to stare. Scream. The anus is the weak spot to every man. If you were a true ECS agent, you'd know that. Pathetic. You scream in agony. I scream for agony and beg for mercy. Why did you do that? I can't see. I can see you're hurting. It's the best way to show my gratitude. Thank you for saving me from those monsters. What? Sensor off. Okay. Okay. Now, now it's gonna swear. Revive Tupac. <laughs> oh no! I doop. <laughs> I just failed it. No! <laughs> you grab his hand and shake it vigorously. His eyes wide and shock when he realizes what you just did. Thank you, you say, and then kiss him passionately. Oh, okay, hello. He lets you aside of relief before asking you how he got here. Turn into, into Biggie Smalls. <laughs> you take off your shirt and reveal your chest. It's huge. That's very impressive, he says. Turn into... <laughs> turn into... <laughs> uh... No, 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 no. Milk. You begin to suckle on his nipples while continuing to talk to him. Engage Gachi Muchi. You, 
You pull out your penis and shove it right into his mouth. He eagerly begins to suck it on it. Mmm, you taste so good. Shoot. Shoot rocket penis. You quickly fire your rocket penis straight into his face. He screams in pain and falls backwards. Ah, you're too slow. Let's try this. Activate missiles and kill. You quickly activate your missiles and blast them into oblivion. Okay. Now bring back Tupac. That was pretty good sex, guys. Let's see here. You immediately bring your dick back to life and begin sucking on Tupac's dick. Bring back Bi Biggie Smalls instead. You bring back Tupac and tell him to give you some advice. Hmm, I think you should try to become more powerful than you already are. Maybe you can even be able to defeat me someday. Real... Engage... Bowling. <laughs> it's been a been an interesting story. All right, you go bowling, have fun. Oh, good, good, good. Really. <laughs> Shove a <in> bowling ball <laughs> into <my> mouth. <laughs> Mutu. <laughs> wait, wait. You shove the ball into Mutu's ass. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. I said no, no. <laughs> Man, the AI is horny. It's really hornpy right now. He gasps in pain and tries to catch it, but fails miserably. Win bowling ball competition. <laughs> Mutu. Mutu. You win the ball ball competition. Tell Mutu you'll, be, you'll see him soon. Destroy Mutu with... With missiles. You launch a missile at Mutu, which hits him in the square in the face. He falls backwards and screams in pain. Take Boss home. Dude, this story is the most radical bullshit I've ever fucking done. You take the Boss home, and when you arrive, you find that everyone has left except for yourself and Mutu. Excuse me? <laughs> uh... Engage Biggie Smalls. Smalls anus. <laughs> he sees pretty. <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh. oh. 
Oh, I'm about to throw up. I'm about to throw up fucking laughing. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. Oh. Pray to Vanilla Ice for advice. <laughs> you pray to at Vanilla Ice for advice, okay? <laughs> you answer yes to all of Vanilla Ice's questions. Which, which, which are what? What? What questions? Did it die? Dude, I, I, I guys, I seriously, I felt sick from that. I was laughing so hard, I like, I, I, I thought, I thought I was gonna throw up. Like, I felt a gag reflex. Like, I, all the air in my body is. Oh. I'm fucking sweat. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it broke. <laughs> I need to read that again. What the fuck? What happened? Okay. You take the bus home. When you arrive, you find everyone has left except for yourself and Muto. Engage Biggie Smalls. You engage Biggie Smalls' anus. He seems pretty happy about it. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> um, <sighs> sorry for what? Did you know my favorite dick? That's amazing. That is fucking amazing. Like. <sighs> <laughs> oh, I don't even care if this thing doesn't reset or whatever. This that was amazing. Oh God, I'm fucking crying laughing. This that was ridiculous. This this story this story was really fucking raunchy. Like did, did taking the sensors off. Like take take off the restraint. Of what I wanted to say here. Like that was that was insane, man. Activate horny mode. Shit, stop, 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 stop. Okay, stop, stop, stop. stop. <sighs> Fucking hell. Okay, let's just do a new one then, if it's gonna be like this. Hang on. Uh, <clears throat> restart. Alright. <clears throat> let's try this. Oh, what? You, you think Twitch is gonna ban me for reading the word penis? That's not very, uh. That's not very nice of them. I'd rather take offense to the fact that they, they, they would ban me for reading the word penis. I don't think so. <clears throat> anyway, let's do a new one. Custom. You are Mario. Your lasagna crystal. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Mario 2 OST. You are Mario. You... <laughs> You're J.O. Crystal. <laughs> You're Mario. You have entered Subkun. You're ready for another adventure. 
It's Subkun, right? Like, I'm not remembering it wrong, right? <laughs> you gonna get yourself banned? Okay. You are Mario, you have entered Subcon. You ready for another adventure? Well, yeah, I guess so. Well, then, let's get going. Um, jump down and st uh, and 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 lift, uh, shy guy. You quickly grab the guy in front of you and start to pull him up. He doesn't seem too happy about this, but he's a little surprised when you suddenly slam his head into the ground. Well, that's not really Super Mario Two. Um. Pull vegetable out of the ground. You immediately grab a large carrot from the ground. Ah! Throw it at the guy who was holding onto your leg! He hits him right in the face and he falls backwards with a pain, pain scream. Enter door. Guys, I'm gonna retell all of Mario Brothers 2 in this. Uh, you run inside the room and see that there are two doors. One labeled exit and one labeled enter. The ladder seems like it would be more appropriate for what you need to do, so as you open it. Run around. You run back outside and find yourself on a field. There's a small house nearby, which looks pretty much exactly like yours. A few trees line the road and some houses dot the landscape. The sun is setting and the sky is starting to turn dark. Pull more, pull more ve vegetables out of the ground and kill. You quickly run over to the house and try to open the door. Unfortunately, you can't move anything without tools. So you just go- you just get frustrated and keep running around until you eventually give up and go home. When you arrive, you notice that the, the light has changed. Locate Luigi. You look around and see that Luigi is nowhere to be found. You then hear a noise from upstairs. You run downstairs to see that someone is trying to break in through the window. They don't succeed, but they manage to smash their way in and get inside. Who is it? You hear footsteps coming from upstairs. You rush upstairs to see a man dressed in his black clothes, standing behind a couch. He notices, he notices you and raises his gun. Eat gun. You launch forward and grab the gun before he can shoot you. <laughs> he fires several bullets at you, but you dodge them all and bite into the barrel of the gun. The bullet goes straight through the, your arm and out of the other side, killing you instantly. <laughs> Respawn as Mario Toad. You wake up in an empty classroom, you feel very tired, and realize that you have, haven't eaten or drank anything since yesterday afternoon. You also remember that waiting, waking up in the same place where you died, and you're not sure if that's a con coincidence or fate. Oh, so it really was Mario 2. It was all a dream, everybody! Shit! Oh, damn it. Alright. Alright, here we go. Custom. We're not gonna have Mario music, but I'm gonna do Half Life OST. Here we go. Alright. You are Gordon Free Freeman. The game is Half Life 2. You. You just put on the HEV suit. And ready to... This is more Half-Life 1 music, but whatever. Uh, let's do Half-Life 2 instead. Oh, fuck it. I have an idea. Half-Life 3. It's about the itch. And ready to... Engage... The final boss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
to engage Biggie Smalls. Okay, you're Gordo Freeman. The game is Half-Life 3. You just put on the HV suit and ready to engage the final boss. The radio crackles as you pick it up. Operator, this is Gordon Freeman. I'm in. Fuck. That's a signal for Kleptolab. Equip crowbar him. I'm not taking any chances with those freaks. The radio suddenly cuts out and a beeping noise starts up again. Oh dear me, it seems like something has gone wrong! A busting sound comes from your earpiece. Reload USP pistol. You grab your pistol and lo load it back into the holster. What the fuck? It's been years since I used one of these things. What happened? Another beep comes through the radio. Answer radio. Hello, hello? This is Sergeant Dwayne. What's going on? It's just me, sir. Sir? Smash radio. You slam down on the radio, causing the beeping to stop. What the fuck? Sir, we're in trouble. We are? Yes, sir. Engage final boss. How did you know what was coming? We have been monitoring the frequency for some time now. Well, how do we get out of here? With guns. Lots of guns. We need more firepower, sir! Mm, well, I suppose I could use some of my old weapons. Equip quad barrel shotgun. That'll work. But why don't you take this instead? Take dual wielded gravity gun. Oh, damn it. It worked. Equip late. Oh, what the fuck? I thought you were supposed to be using this thing. Sir, if you want to survive, you'll need all the firepower you can get. Equip laser crowbar. Why didn't you give me the crowbar? Because I had one left over from when I was stationed at 14 months. <laughs> what? what? Hang on, hang on. And I figured you'd appreciate it having much as I would, so I gave it to you. Open console. <laughs> huh? What the fuck is this thing? It's a computer, sir. SV Cheats 1. What the fuck is this? Cheat code, sir. Ah! Impulse 101. Wait, what the fuck? Uh, guys, I, how do I turn off the sensor? I want to see what the swearing is. Sorry. I'll try to mess to, not, not like milk Kleiner or whatever, but... Sensor off. Impulse 101. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, okay, hell. What, it censored hell? Ooh. Hard swears. Activate weapon, activate weapon cheat and equip octo barrel shotgun. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Stop swearing. 
Sir, please. Stop swearing. <laughs> Sir, please, I beg you, don't let them win. Okay, I won't, but you gotta stop swearing, Gordon. Sir, I swear by you, stop swearing. Sir, I swear by Jesus Christ, he will protect us. Activate Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ cheat. What the is this? Have Jesus destroy the combine. You stop swearing. You stop. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. You just restart now. You just restart now. I, I give it a, f a three. <clears throat> All right, let's do another. Well, I guess apocalyptic would do. I mean, it's it, yeah. You know that that fits better. But no, I want custom though. You are Gordon Freeman. You just met Alex. You're in Kleiner's lab, and you just put on the suit. Okay. Turn off sensor. <laughs> oh Jesus! All right. You're Gordon Freeman. You just met Alex. You're in Kleiner's lab, and you just put on the suit. You look around and see a bunch of people staring at you. Well, okay. Move around. You stand up slowly and move around where you think you should be. The room is empty now. You head back at your car and drive off? A few hours later, you arrive at the edge of the town? Enter Ravenholm. You pull back in the parking lot of a round-down building. There's no one here. You park and walk inside. It looks like it hasn't been used for years. You go through a door and find yourself in a large foyer with several doors leading off to the other rooms. Wake up, zombies. No oh, shit. You open the door and it has the most. You open the door that has the most people and see a group of about 15 people just sitting on the floor talking. They look at you but don't say anything. You take a seat next to them and listen in. So what's going on? One man asks. Attack zombie with crowbar. Yeah, my thing. You grab the crowbar from your pocket and swing it at the nearest zombie. He screams as he falls backward and hits his head on the floor. You quickly run over to him and pick him by his legs and throw him against another wall. Meet Father... Oh, meet Father Grigori. You turn, to face in, you turn to face the group and raise your hand to knock down the first zombie who was still standing. As you do, you hear a voice call out, Hey, stop! You stop and turn to see a tall, gaunt man wearing a black suit and holding a pistol. Listen. Shit. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Nope, stop, stop, stop. Who are you and why do you come here? The man asks. I ask, says. I'm here to kill the zombie. You say? Va pointed the gun at you. <laughs> it's time to kill. Fast and good with guns. You do a cool pose. The man nods and points the gun at you. Very well, I will help you. You nod and continue walking towards the zombies. As you get closer to the zombies, they begin to scream and, scream and howl. Shoot fast zombies. No, actually, regular zombies. Shoot zombies. It's pretty good, actually, guys. 
You fire two shots at the close zombie. He screams and drops to the ground. You, you then fire three more shots at the others. They all fall to the floor. You keep firing until there's nothing left but a pile of corpses. You stand over the bodies and smile. Huh. I guess the undead is pretty dead, huh? Wink and fart. You laugh and start laughing again. Stop laughing. You stop laughing and stare at the bodies. You sigh and say, well, this is a bit different than killing humans. You then leave the building. Oh, okay. You okay, Gordon? It doesn't mean that he's a killer. It means, means that, well, I mean, they're zombies, so they're not, you know. Follow Father Gregory. You walk along the road and see a truck pu pulling away from the parking lot. You follow the truck and soon arrive at a farmhouse. A man walks out of the house and sees you. He waves you over. G-Man? He nods and says, Yeah, it's -a me! What's your name? You tell him, and he smiles and says, Nice to meet ya! Wait. What? Oh, that's not you, man. Nice to meet you! My name is Father Gregory. I've heard a lot about you. You reply, thanks, and shake his hand. Shake penis. No, no, no. Look at the battle plan. <laughs> Father Gregory looks at his battle plan and says, This sounds very interesting. Let's do this. You know, no one agree. Get down with the sickness. Here we go. You get down on the ground and start feeling sick. You cough and vomit blood. You try to hold together and attempt to explain to Father Gregory what happened. He seems impressed. He tells you to stay and rest. You nod and agree. Take action, sleep. <laughs> okay. You decide to take some time to recover before getting back to work. You spend the night resting and eating. When Mona comes around, you have recovered fully. You decide to get back to work. Kill zombies. You get ready to go out and kill the zombies. You have a hard time concentrating on your job. You just want to kill the living dead. You make sure to eat something every once in a while. Uh, okay. Spot fast zombie. You notice a fast zombie coming towards you. You immediately jump up and aim your shotgun at the zombie. Oh, you fire and hit the zombie in the chest. You feel sick, sick and vomit blood. You collapse on the ground and vomit blood. You manage to crawl back to the truck and lie down. Take med kit. You grab a med kit and start taking it. You feel better and start thinking clearly again. You decide to get, get back to work. Reload shotgun and kill zombies. You load up your shotgun and start shooting at the zombies. You feel fine and start thinking clearly again. You decide to get back to work. Yeah. Activate zombie uh, rotor blade trap. You activate the trap and it begins spinning. You watch helplessly as the blades cut through your flesh. Ah, ow! You try to fight them off, but they're too strong. You lose consciousness. Fuck! Beep, beep, beep! Quick load. Quickly load the med kit and try to think clearly again. You regain consciousness and realize you're bleeding profusely. You vomit blood and try to fight off the rotors. You die. Oh, shit. Major lacerations detected. Critical. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, my icing.
shit. That was pretty good considering, you know? That was pretty good considering. Uh, do a new one. Can I do a new one or is it gonna... Yeah, it's gonna shit out. Spongebob, splam pants. Okay, fine. We'll do Spongebob. We'll do, we'll do a little sponge. We'll do a little sponge here. Uh, custom. You are Spongebob. Sponge, sponge, SpongeBob SquarePants. You, you flip burgers for a greedy crab. Your best friends include a starfish, and you love to torment your idiotic neighbor, Squidward, by. Uh, pelting him with rocks. <laughs> I sorry, I remember SpongeBob. SpongeBob is very mean. Here we go. You are SpongeBob SquarePants. You flip burgers for a greedy crab. Your best friends include a starfish, and you love to torment your idiotic neighbor Squidward by pelting him with rocks. You have a pets, 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 Lily and Patrick, who is so stupid that he thinks his name is Squidward and thinks you're his girlfriend. Nope. No, no. Mm mm. No, no. No, no. Nope. You live in the Krusty Krab, where you work as a freak. You don't live in the Krusty Krab, but close. Flip burger. The most important thing about being a human. Okay. The most important thing about being a human is not what you eat or how you weigh. It's how you feel when you finish eating. You're feeling great right now. The sun has been shining all day long and you have the time to explore of the local areas. Become fully sponge. Your body becomes completely transparent and you float into the air as if you were floating on water. You then start to sink down into the ground until you hit the ground. Suddenly you hear a loud noise and see a large explosion taking place nearby. Investigate. You look around and see that there are several people running away from the explosion. One of them looks like he's in pain and crying for help. MY LEG! He's holding his arm, okay, which has been blown off at the elbow. You can't believe your eyes. Plankton. You immediately begin to swim towards him with your hands overstretched, outstretched. As soon as you get close enough, you grab the man by the hand and pull him back to the shore. You then walk over to the explosion and examine the damage yourself. It seems that the bomb was placed near a military base. Go to Krusty Krab. What hand? You can even walk along the coast looking for any survivors. Eventually, you come across a small fishing village called Krusty Crab. No. There are only two men walking there, one of which looks very old and frail. Who? Old Man Jenkins? You run up to the older man and ask him where the other survivor is. He tells you that the other person... He tells you that the other person who escaped is a woman named Linda. She says she ran into the ocean after hearing an explosion and hasn't been since. Linda. Order burger. <laughs> you tell the woman that she needs to find her husband. Okay, what, well, Linda? When she asks why, you explain that she that he must have gone to the base to try and save everyone else. She agrees to run off to search for him. You watch her leave and then return to work. But who was flipping the lights? After a few minutes, you notice that the lights in the restaurant have suddenly turned on. You walk up to the restaurant and take a closer look. You see a man sitting behind a counter waving at you. He's wearing a red shirt and blue jeans. He looks familiar.
The glass shatters. It's stone cold. Steve Austin. You wave, you wave back, and he waves back. You both wave each other, and then he walks out of the restaurant and into the night. You're left wondering what happened to the rest of the town. It was stone cold. Steve Austin. You walk back to the diner, sit down. You think about the events of the day and so wonder if you should go check the town again. After all, you didn't manage to survive it. Stone Cold Steve Austin is engaged. You decide to check the town again. You head out to the streets and eventually find Steve Austin's car parked at the diner. You approach the car and enter it. Inside you find the owner of the diner, Steve Austin. Wrestle. Okay, um, you quickly put it, your arms around him and begin to kiss him passionately. No. His tongue goes inside your ma- No, 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 no. His tongue goes inside your mouth and you taste his... You let- you let him know that you love him and that you want more. He responds by giving you everything you need. Not that kind of wrestling. Not that kind of wrestling, buddy. Oh, hell yeah! Convince Stone... Stone Cold to destroy... The AI. Um. Uh. No 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 I don't no 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 no. You push him against the wall and force him onto his. No, I. I'm not reading this. I'm not reading this anymore. I'm. Guys, SpongeBob and Stone Cold Steve Austin is, you know, why? Go back and be a fry cook instead. Why? Why is it saying this? No, 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 Be grilled, dude. <laughs> what? What? No, no, no. No, 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 no. What the fuck is this? This makes Steve Austin laugh hysterically. But, dude, no, 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 no. Say hello to Squid. Squid. I can't. I can't fucking think straight. This is. No more. Sto this. This music fucks it up. Stone. St Steve Austin finally finishes. Okay. He turns around and sees you standing there naked. He smiles and says, I knew you can't do it. Before walking out of the diner, you follow him outside and he leads you to a secluded spot to talk. Find Jesus. You walk next to him and whisper, I'm sorry for killing you. <gasps> Give Stone Cold a Stone Cold Stunner 
and kill him. Kill him. You grab the stun gun and aim it at his head. You fire and the bullet hits his temple, causing it to fall backward. You quickly put out the pick up the stun gun and shoot him in the chest. He falls over backwards and scream in agony. Please go back to just cooking murders. SpongeBob. I don't want to engage in a relationship with Stone Cold Steve Austin. I just want to wrestle, all right? You run forward and grab the stun gun. You aim at his head and squeeze. He falls backward and screams in agony. You quickly grab the knife and stab him in the neck. He falls backward and screams in agony. You quickly grab the knife and stab him in the throat. Cook burger. You run forward and, try and grab the frying pan and throw it at him. He falls backward and screams in agony. You run forward and grab the meat clearer and cut and open his throat. You fall backwards and scream in agony. You run forward and grab the fork and stab him in the eye. Cook food at restaurant. This is the best. The food you will resto. This is the hands. That is the funniest shit I have ever seen. I can't top that. Ladies and gentlemen, stream of the year. Stream of the year. That that is the worst thing I've ever fucking experienced. All right. I I need to I need to I I need to do a B or B here because my my brain is gone. So I I I I I. I, I. All right, I'm back. No, I, nothing could have prepared me for that bullshit. But hey, we're back. Um, restart? No, just just restart or whatever. Ten. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to new new one. This will be the last one. This will be the last one for the night. Really, the last one. Um, Dude, I don't know how I'm gonna put the thumbnail on YouTube later on when I upload this. Like, what the fuck should the thumbnail even be? <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I have no idea, man. <laughs> Stone Cold. I, I, I don't even. I don't even. I can't even. <laughs> fuck in all caps. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't like Stone Cold anymore, guys. <laughs> Do you think that someone is influencing the AI to make it horny? I don't know how you influence a bot. <laughs> you sell out nipples over and over again, and then it's like, you oh, yes, yes. No, it will me look. Like, what the... <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, it's us all along. It's you guys. Okay, well, we're gonna do not a custom one. Let's do. Let's do. Uh, make make it a video game related one. Ma suggest a video game, and I'll, I'll I'll write some bullshit about it. Too. Doom. Let's do Doom. Let's do Doom. No, not the new Doom. Classic Doom, please. Alright. Um, you are Doom Guy. You are on Mars and ready to kill the invading demons from hell. You ready your shotgun. You are Doom Guy. You are on Mars and ready to kill the invading demons from hell. You ready your shotgun and start walking towards the horde of demons that are hoarded, heading your way. Blast. <laughs> I don't know if we can use terminology like that, whatever. The bullets fly as you shoot the demons. They aren't fast enough to dodge, but they are quick enough to avoid you completely. O okay. You don't even have to get a chance to reload before you have a you hear a scream followed by a loud explosion. Okay. Shoot. <laughs> 
<laughs> you fire again, hang another demon in the chest. Oh, now it worked, okay. He falls to the ground, dead. The rest of them begin running away now that their cover The cover is blown! You keep shooting until you run out of bullets or the re demons reach you. Okay. Get Berserker pack. Pack and blood punch. No, they just punch you. If I say blood punch, it's gonna be like, what the fuck is he saying? You quickly rush towards the nearest group of demons, hoping to find some way to help your allies. I thought they were all dead. As soon as you enter the, enter the melee, you unleash your rage on the demons. You swing your fist like a madman, smashing the closest demons with ease. Yell and scream. <laughs> you could need to fight punching, kicking body, and screaming for help. Eventually, you manage to kill all the demons around you. You feel the blood dripping from your hands and face. But it doesn't matter, because you know who will save you n now. Be saved by... Jesus Christ. Suddenly, you see a bright light in front of you. It's the sun. You're staring in awe, wondering what this place could possibly have to do with the sun. Suddenly, we realize what the sun has to do with everything. It was Solaire. The sun knight. Praise the sun. You look up at the sky and see a huge white figure sitting there. It looks exactly like Solaire. He smiles at you and tells you that he'll take care of everything. You thank him and go back to fighting the demons. Oh, okay. Open, open door. And kill demons. You open the door and walk inside. There are no more demons here. You're safe. You can finally sleep. Doom guy doesn't sleep. He kills him. Now I'm gonna argue with it. Too. You stand over the bodies of the demons you killed earlier. Doom guy doesn't sleep either. He just kills everything. You watch him kill a few people and turn his attention to you. Oh! Fight Doom guy. You charge the Doom Guy, but he easily dodges your attacks. You try to hit him with your sword, but he evades it too. Then you remember about the sun. You grab it and throw it at Doom Guy. He catches it and turns it around to attack you. Fucking Mario Brothers 3, son! Run. You run back towards the door, but it's locked. You try to break it down, but you fail. You panic and start crying. Your friends come to comfort you. You tell them not to worry about you. You're fine. You just need some rest. Shit pants. You fall asleep. In the morning, you wake up and discover that the world has changed. The sun is gone. You become a normal person. You cry and weep. You wish that you had died instead. Shit pants. You wake up in the morning. You're still crying, but you're alive. You're happy. You smile and smile. You ate breakfast and enjoy life. Shit pants. You wake up in the afternoon, you're still sad and you're happy. You laugh and smile, you eat lunch and enjoy life. Shit pants. <laughs> oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do not shit pants. Oh fuck. Have a shite. Poop pantaloonies. Okay, oh, oh, revert. Okay, sorry. Poop pantalones. <laughs> you go to school. You learn something new. You play. You go. You play with your friends. You go home. You poop. We did it, boys. We did it. <laughs> Look for Doom Guy. Where'd he go? You look for Doom, you find him, you hug him, you kiss him, you make love, you die. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goddamn stone cold. Okay, new one. <laughs> Custom, here we go. Alright, first game I see in quotations, I will pick for the game story. Fallout, alright. Fuck, I used to do an apocalyptic story. I'll do another one. I don't think Fallout's that, 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 that good. Uh, let's do Kirby. I like that. You are Kirby, pink destroyer, pink destroyer of worlds. You are hungry. They are going to suffer. You are Kirby, pink destroyer of worlds. You are hungry, they are going to suffer. The time has come for you to feed on the living. Suck. Oh wait, th that might not be a very good thing for th this, this horny bullshit. Okay. No, 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 no. Nope. Cause if I say suck now, then it's like mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Listen, I I just wanna have a cute adventure. I I I who who the hell has been feeding this AI Super Mario Boner pills tonight? I don't like it. The door opens and a woman with a long blonde hair enters. She is dressed in a black dress that reaches her mid-thighs. Her dress are a piercing blue, but she keeps them covered by dark glasses. Hello, she says. Call... Um... Waddle D for pizza. You call out, Waddle D, pizza, as long as you can. Pollo. A few seconds later, you hear him answer back. Pizza? What's wrong, he asks. Pepperoni... Pe pepper... What, what the fuck is wrong with the spelling? Pepperoni, you know. Pe is that how you spell pepperoni? Oh. oh my god, brain damage. Hello. Yo. Waddle D. Give me a slice, uh, slice of pepper... Pepperon, pepperon, capiche? Pizza? I ask again. Yeah, I want some pizza. I don't know where you're from, but we don't serve it here. But I want it so bad. I'm hungry. Threaten, what'll do? What the? With violence. If he does not bake the greatest pizza. Anyone has ever baked. Uh, you grab Otto D and throw him against the wall of the kitchen. He screams in pain, but doesn't resist. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah! I'm fine. Ah! I'm fine. Ah! I'm fine. Bake pizza. As soon as Waddle Dee finishes baking his pizza, you grab your knife and cut into it. The, the taste is amazing, and you feel like you have won the lottery. That was delicious, say to yourself. Now suck up, restaurant. You walk through the restaurant, <laughs> looking at all the food on the table. It seems like everyone's having a good time. Suddenly you see a man sitting alone at one of the tables. He looks like he's about your age, maybe even younger. Destroy planet with satanic Kirby powers. No. You run over to the table, sit down, 
no, no, no. Engage? No. no. Act. Satan. Sh fire. P power. Kill. Destroy. You begin to chant a spell, which causes a large amount of flames to come out of your hands. The man gasps, but he continues to talk to you. What do you mean, what do I mean? I am Satan, he ex exclaims. So you were the one behind these bullshit stories. <laughs> Did it just die? Thank you, Satan. Let's do this. Restart. Uh, is it dead? Did it die? You blew my cover. Command is just restored. Are you sure? All right. What the fuck is Buck Bumble? Don't don't go into the chat and ask these questions. All right. If you have if you have to ask, you don't deserve an answer. <laughs> All right. Uh, first game I see in uh, quotes. Sonic. Really, we gotta do Sonic? <laughs> Tetris. You know what, you know what, let's just do 007. You are James Bond. You just... Um, entered... Uh the dam level you have your your silenced silenced pp7 you have dk mode on it you are james bond you have just entered the dam level. You have a silence PP7. Uh, you have DK mode on. You have a silencer and a suppressor. Bit of a oxymoron there, but whatever. You also have a laser sight attached to it. The guards here are armed with AK-47s. They don't even have. They don't even look at you as they walk by. Oh, it's the golden eye. See, aim carefully and kill them both. Pew, pew, pew. You aim carefully and shoot them both in the head. The pain is excruciating, but you know that this will be for the greater good of the world. But you don't really feel anything if you're shot in the head. You kind of just die, you know, but all right. Right. Go up the tower and grab sniper rifle. You climb up the tower to find yourself in a large room filled with various weapons. Equip sniper rifle. You equip your sniper rifle and begin looking around for some some place to hide. Okay. Follow. Oh, hang on. Snipe soldiers. You really stop several soldiers who are trying to escape from the city. One of them falls off. Oh, a balcony. Okay. Well. Follow truck. Yeah. You follow the truck and soon reach an open field where you see many soldiers running away from the city. You snipe them all. One soldier however manages to get back into his vehicle and drive it towards the city. Okay, but we're not going for the city. Or, fuck, whatever. Um, deactivate alarm. 
You activate the lock. Fuck! One job, James Bond. One fucking job. Jesus, it's like I'm playing Goldeneye for the first time. Yeah, let me press fucking A on the uh, the alarm. Pew, pew, pew. Jesus. You activate the alarm trying to drive out of the city, but the road is blocked by fallen buildings. You crash through a window and take cover behind a car. Suddenly you hear gunfire and explosion outside. You see, see a helicopter flying over the city and firing at the city. Well, it's a little too head in the movie, but whatever. Bungee off the dam. Let's just ignore that part. You jump down from the car and return run down to the dam. You manage to get inside and barricade the door with bricks. Okay. You start climbing up the ladder. You suddenly hear gunshots coming from above and you realize that the helicopters have come to rescue you. Not yet. I'm not on cradle yet. Fuck off. Enter facility. <laughs> you climb up the ladder into this facility. You see a huge complex full of rooms and hallways. There are many robots come patrolling the place. You see a group of scientists working in something in... Oh, it's Dr. Doak. Working on something, and he decided to sneak past them and go check it out. Talk to Dr. Doak. You sneak past the scientists and enter the lab area. You see Dr. Doak sitting at a table doing research. He looks up at you and smiles and says, Hello there. You reply. Clob, clob that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Objective D. Failed. You walk up to him and punch him in the face. He falls backwards. I'm sorry, it's the... You know? Punch him in the face. I would say karate chop him in the face. He falls backwards and hit his head on the table. You can't even punch him until he's unconscious. You then head back to the computer room and shut the door. Get mines out. You return to the computer room and access the security system. You type in the code and press the button. A few seconds later, you hear a loud noise and the light goes in front of you. You turn around and see a minecart heading straight for you. Well, no, 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 not a minecart. Mines as in beep, beep, boop, boop. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Dodge minecart and return to the facility. <laughs> <laughs> You can leave Duck under the minecart and make it back to the facility. He knows that the minecart has stopped right next to the entrance. You can't believe what just happened. I, I can't, I mean. Alright, uh... Go to the gas... ...containers. You hurry up to the gas container and unlock you. You see a bunch of bottles of... You, ...bottles of gas and empty cans nearby. You pick up the bottle and drink it as fast as you can. No, no, James, don't drink the fucking gas! There's a whole point of blowing up the facility! Asshole, whatever. Run out... To the run runway. You run out to the runway and try to leave the city. Unfortunately, you don't manage to do so before the helicopter arrives. You watch it as flies overhead and drops two bombs on the city. You hear a lot of explosion and feel the ground shake beneath your feet. Get in the tank. <laughs> <laughs> You get in the tank and close the light. You wait patiently for the explosion to happen. After five, about five minutes, you hear a loud boom followed by a bright flash. You look up and see a mushroom cloud rising high into the city. It's high into the sky? Jesus! Exit tank, get into plane, and fly off. Jesus, they're getting nuked now? You exit the tank and get into the plane. You look around and notice that the city is now completely destroyed. You look forward and see a long line of burning cars in the distance. You wonder if you should land somewhere near there or try to get away from the city. GET AWAY FROM THE CITY, YOU FUCKING IDIOT! This is a, this is a weird golden eye story, but alright. Flight to... Flight to, uh, what was it called again? Severnaya. The winter bunker instead. You fly to Severnaya, the, the winter bunker. You arrive safely and you're glad to be alive. You then look around and notice that the city was almost completely destroyed. You wonder how, how you'll survive another attack. Kill guards outside and take their clubs. Alright. You kill the guard and take his clubs. You then enter the bunker and lock the door. You sit down and think about what to do next. 
Dual Wield Club. Clubs. This, that was a fast level, fuck you. You grab your clubs and hold them in each hand. You stand up and walk out of the bunker. You see a large crowd watching you. You approach them slowly and they stare at you. They seem to want to help you, but they do not know what to do. What? What? <laughs> VR pacing. Um... Kill guards? They don't want to help me. What are you talking about? You walk, you, you walk towards the crowd and you see a couple of guards standing there. You point at them and say, Kill them! They immediately charge at you and attempt to stab you, but you easily deflect their attacks. They fall to the floor dead bodies... They fall to the floor dead bodies of their comrades. Use clubs. It's Boris called conspirators. You swing your clubs. Swing? No, that's a gun, man. You swing your clubs at the first guard and hit him in the neck. He screams and falls to the floor. You then swing your clubs at the second guard and hit him in the stomach. Shoot clubs. Maybe he doesn't understand that yet. Maybe they're out of ammo, you know? You aim your gun at the first guard and pull the trigger. Okay. The bullet hits him in the throat and he collapses to the floor. You then fire your gun at the second guard and shoots him in the chest. He falls to the floor. Uh... Reload. <laughs> you reload your gun name at the third guard. You shoot him in the leg and he falls to the floor. You then shoot his chest and he falls to the floor. You then shoot the fourth guard in the head and he falls to the floor. Man, it's a massacre, man. Uh, complete mission requirement. I forgot what this, this bunker level had. I think it was like, take picture of Goldeneye or whatever. Oh, oh, you complete the project, you finish the game. Oh, 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 shit. Uh, oh, 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 okay. Uh, well, shit, I... Credits. Yeah, VR. VR pace. <laughs> oh, WR, sorry. VR pace. I got my Oculus Rift on. So I'm a little tired. Uh, oh, the game. How did I do this again? Like, at the end? The end. <laughs> okay, I I'm fine with that. Engage James Bond shit. <laughs> The gum. <laughs> no. You, 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 me. You, 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 you. Activate. Soldier boy, tell him. You Holy shit, guys. Hey, uh, you need a friend? Anyway, um here we go. I'll I'll be kind of quick with it though. From uh, Wheat Boy. Here we go. So here's me drawing about Joel's Pokemon Shield streams. Um, I absolutely love those streams, and Monkey's the best Pokemon. It makes me laugh constant, but it makes me laugh. Joel's constant denial of evolving Monkey. I hope Joel sees us and enjoys it. I love him. I love him and his streams, and it always makes me laugh. Also, Joel, if you read this, add Toxel Baby to your team. I think I did have a Toxel. I traded him away. I'm sure you're gonna love Toxel's evolution. I, I, didn't I see the evolution? I thought he looked like stupid, and I'm like, yeah, I don't want this. Monkey, 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 cause now you're a monkey, a monkey, monkey man. I'm losing my mind. That's pretty nice. From uh, Pitch Black Dragon. There we go. Hey, oh my god, look at this. It's actually animated. It looks pretty nice. Holy shit. 
Um, hey, this is my first time posting on the board. I hope I did everything right. So this is Dark Joel from Joel's AI Dungeon stream. I really like the idea of an AI trying to replace the real Joel. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, that's pretty damn nice. <laughs> You're going to die. No, Dark Joel. Did I really type no, I must shit t to die? F did I really type that? Did I really type that? I didn't type that, right? I didn't type... I didn't type, no, I'm a shit to die for love. No, I didn't type that. No, I didn't type that. Well, that's pretty well drawn. That's pretty well drawn. I lost me for two years ago when I was in Japan. Pretty goddamn nice. It must be a little bit of shodan. Shit. That's pretty damn nice. Thank you so much. Very nice drawn. From Super Booster Boy. So we heard you may want to quit vaping. Yeah, that's right. Dude, I'm going to tell you something. I... I'm gonna run this one more time because I just feel like doing it, alright? My name is Mario and I smoke all the time, Mama! <laughs> was I too on the nose with that? Like, was I, was I too contemptful in my satire? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I was. Maybe. But I, I, thought, I thought it deserved it. You know what I mean? So, um, not nearly enough. I, th I, thought, I thought being individual was a little too on the nose. But, you know. But nice art, though. Nice art. From uh, Porta Joe. Here we go. Here he comes. It's falling over, boys. Oh my god! The Vonstrom <laughs> they put took me to the hospital. Hang on. Ah, uh, shit. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's adorable. Take him to the hospital. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, that's great. I love that. That is pretty damn nice. Hell yeah. Porta Joe also did this. Vibe check. <laughs> Dude, me and Frank was playing through Sven Co-op and we played Half-Life and he had never played Half-Life before. And he was on the level where uh, they put trip wires on this like rocket factory. And um, he didn't know that the entire thing blows up if you like fuck up one of the trip wires. And he, without knowing it, he says, vibe check. And then he runs into a trip wire and everything blows up. He's like, what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> Just everything is just going explodingly white, you know? Microphone! Alright, thanks. Okay. Very nice. From Skeleborg McCalcium. Behold my ultimate creation, Varg Skelenome. <laughs> By the way, where's Varg Friend from? Oh, the, yeah, the, he, Varg Friend is from a game called QT. I did it for Spooky Saturday. And I, I try to emulate the style of the game a little bit, and I just made this little dumb. Dumb creature, Varg friend, so... That's pretty nice. Oh! Hello there, old chum. <laughs> From Crunkerton. Thank you, by the way. Granny's coming for you. That looks like me. Because <laughs> I think it is. Man, my microphone's fucking up tonight. Shell out. Well, there we go. It looks pretty nice. Granny coming, dude. Shit, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Looks like the kids from Bully. <laughs> great job. Great, great job. Really like that. From Titanus. Not Tit Anus. Titanus. Ionator. <laughs> <sighs> I'm kind of pissed that my computer rebooted while I was streaming because that means that I'm going to have a loss in quality when I upload it on YouTube later on. So Bene Kazoo is going to look a little shit. Um, but whatever. Joe, will you be playing Black Mesa now that Zen is done? Well, it's not really done. It's still beta, you know. I know you can opt in to play the beta, but, um, you know, um, maybe once it's done. I don't I don't like playing beta stuff. I want to have it released so I don't have, like, a painted wrong image or something. Like, because then people call me out and they see, like, Joe, no, no, they fixed that ages ago. I'm like, oh, they did? Because I play the beta, you know. And everybody's like, no, shut up, Joe. They fixed it. So I'm just waiting until they, like, okay, now it's done. I don't like to... You know, get an early 
preview that is not best. But uh, there you go. Very nice. Yeah. From uh, Salmon Newt, here is uh, Esper vibe check in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That stream was a little funny because I uploaded while I was really exhausted and I'm literally yawning in the video. Like, <gasps> oh, yes, I'm really fucking tired. <laughs> like that. So, <laughs> I felt bad uploading it. But there you go. Very nice art, though. All right. From uh, Granddaddio. When you think about, when you think that you're the most pretty witch in the land, but then the caller says that Tootie's got the the best booty. What? Listen here, you little shit. Is that the CBT wizard? What? What's going on in this? What? <laughs> the original meme. This was based on. Okay, what is this? Did you link a Google image? You you linked a Google search URL, like a huge. Dude, no way. That's... That's... What? Dude. Dude, don't... 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 Dude, bro. <laughs> you can't... You can't... Like... <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's like... That's just a little above. Linking, like, my documents. Picture.bmp. On a website and be like, Why isn't it uploading? <laughs> <laughs> Good art though, but bruh, bruh, <laughs> it's based on this, it's based on this, but yeah, sure, okay, <laughs> great, great, great job, great job, love it, from Garo Ninja, he's a really cool piece of art too, it's me as, uh, not, that's not a goat, what is it, I, I don't know what kind of animal that is, guys, any bone experts in chat, what kind of, what kind of animal is that too? A dog? Is it a dog? <laughs> Alright, well, that's pretty sweet, too. I can't tell if I'm screaming and, ang and like being angry here. I'm happy. I, it's like both. That looks pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. Look at them flames, man. Looks pretty fucking tight, too. Vorg Skeleton Dog. <laughs> you know, hey, it's a Vorg Skeleton, I guess. A dingo, yeah? I guess it's Bark Bogan, you know, from Oblivion, I guess. Right? <laughs> That's pretty sweet. I love the shading here. It's pretty pretty fucking solid. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, Joel, check out my art. See users Timmy pictures Yule. Uh, Lul.jpg. I thought I said Jul. J-O-L. <laughs> That's great art. Really phenomenal job here. Really sweet. Really fucking cool. I love the use of colors here. Hell yeah. Keep it up. For sure. That is sweet, dude. Really, I really like that. From Little Pirate, a hey, look at this. It's almost Crimbo, and I've got I'm come come bearing gifts. I got my little bell, and I got my little Cthulhu Necronomicon box. But shit, that looks awesome. Damn, Little Pirate, really, really awesome art. I mean, you just look at the uh, the art on, on the tag with Little Pirate. And it's just impressive shit constantly. But this this really wow, that looks. Really, really nice. Uh, it is Crimbo soon, by the way. How soon is Crimbo? How soon until Christmas Eve? Because that's when we celebrated in Sweden. Uh, it is... It is around... Nine days! Nine fucking days! Could you believe it? Then it's Christmas time? That is some serious killer artwork, and I absolutely love it. You know, it's going to suck in nine days. Then I'm going to have to uh, destroy my wallet to buy games for you guys. How terrible, right? You gave me all this You gave me all this money on Twitch. And I'm going to be buying burgers with it? No, fuck that. I'm going to give that money back to you guys. All right. So every year we do this Christmas giveaway with a lot of games. And uh, you guys will just be in chat on Christmas. And I will be giving some games back. Buy a shit ton of Fallouts and whatever. So... Be on the lookout for that, and you know you don't and any, you don't even need to be subscribed or anything like that too much. And just show up, show up and say hello and be like, hey, guess what, buddy? You have a game waiting for you, maybe. But make sure that make sure that you like have a Steam account that isn't like locked into some region, because <laughs> that was happened last time. But really awesome from Little Pirate. Wonderful use of colors. You have the snow and little details on on the on the box and the. <laughs> The old winter coat is 
fantastic job. And I love the little, like, embroidery. Is that what it's world? The vines and the little twigs and stuff is serious killer stuff. Really, really, really awesome. Hell yeah. Excellent job. Excellent job. From Wheat Boy, here's, here's me being happy. I got my wig on. <laughs> That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I, 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 if I could, I would grow up my hair, but it's just so disgusting, man. It's just bleh. like I can just imagine me in the summer and I'm just waking up in the middle of the night and I'm sweaty. I'm like, oh, oh. There's nothing more disgusting than having long hair on your back and then you tilt your head back and it's just like wet. Oh. You just wear a wig unironically. Unironically? No, I would wear it ironically, you know. <laughs> but very very cool art thank you so much badass badass hell yeah from Sup Sup super waluigi bros 69 uh okay uh hey joel in case you missed it i'm in the poster for the meme house in the style of smash ultimates poster i've updated to include dark johnny and doom guy hope you hope you and everyone else likes it that's pretty nice dark johnny Skelter wasn't really Skelter was not a character in season one. He really wasn't. There was a random like uh, dude walking around with the Skelter head, but but it wasn't Skeletor. All right, I want to stress that that was not Skeletor. It was just like a, a weird dude walking around that broke into people's houses. That, that not the real one, not the real one. But yeah, there you go. Very nice. From Crunkerton, engage ass. <laughs> I don't know why this reminded me of Megas XLR. We like giant robots. Destroy the world. Boop. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. From None of Your Business, BK Bottles Universe. I heard you and Chad call Bottles Steven, so now y'all getting this. What? Bottles Universe? BK. I, this flew up, flew over my head. What was this? What Steven Universe? I don't really know what that is, but um, I, it's like cartoon, cartoon show. Like around, okay. There's like when, okay. I'll, I'll tell you when. Like I'm totally out of the loop with cartoons. Around like two thousand seven, eight, when like uh, Chowder and Flapjack uh, came out. That's when I kind of like. I, I just felt like I, I'm a, I'm a grown man now, I'm a grown grown man, and I gotta watch Oprah. <laughs> All right, now, I I just haven't watched it really. I don't I don't I don't I don't know what, I don't know what those cartoons are about. But I heard it's got a pretty big uh, viewer base and stuff. So uh, yeah, but I did not I didn't intend to reference the the character, but a hey, <laughs> that's pretty good though. Look at them sandals. <laughs> Steven, I'm gonna call him Jarvis. <laughs> uh, man, you guys are so fucking opinionated, man. You, you guys put my ironic bullshit to shame. Like, you guys are so fucking like at each other's throats over shit. Like, I name some show and it just becomes a fucking like Frankenstein pitchfork at the the windmill. Burn him. Bang him! I'm like, I don't fucking know what you guys are talking about. Shit, chill out. It's a fucking cartoon for children, all right? <laughs> like, there, there's more things to, like, get nuclear about, all right? Like, sandwiches. And Slurpees, you know? <laughs> um, anyway, that is going to be it for the art tonight. Hope you all enjoyed it. A lot of fucking stream shit tonight. Like, oh, I didn't expect to stream so much. And I was going to end the stream, like, when the stream cut out. Because I had a Windows update. I'm like, nah, I'm done. But I guess that's it. Wild stream tonight. Banjo Kazooie, too. So, uh, do -ho. Well, I hope you had the time of your life. Because my microphone isn't. Alright. You shut up, microphone. Dude, I'm like vibe checking the fucking microphone. I'm like strangling. Like, you motherfucker, you listen to me. 
Well, I said whenever you come up with the name, you you always say Jarvis because Jarvis sounds funny. I don't know why Jar Jarvis sounds like some sort of like <laughs> sex thing. Like, ooh, that's a big old Jarvis. Like, it's some sort of slang for something dirty. And it's just funny. I don't know why. Some some words just sound funny. Like cabbage. Cabbage sounds funny. Cabbage and Jarvis and like flute. Like <laughs> words, man. Some some words just funny. Sorry for anyone named Jarvis, but you know my name's Joel, so yeah. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the stream. Hope you all enjoyed the show. I'm gonna be off now eating some lunch. I'm gonna get some munch and eating some lunch. I'm gonna see you live. Imagine naming your son Jarvis. Well, imagine being called VSTPNW or V. <sighs> imagine, dude. That's gonna stink. Ooh, I'm so, so, just kidding. Uh, yo, we got who's live? We got motherfucking. Fred playing some Apex Legends. What? Diabor's playing Lobotomy Corporation. What? And then we got have Mike Matei playing some fucking Ninja Gaiden. I'm gonna host uh, Diabor because 